from the world famous Belfry Hotel. It's the Pride of Birmingham Awards with your host, Kim Marsh. Hello and welcome to the Birmingham Live Pride of Birmingham Awards in partnership with TSB. I'm here at the Belfry and I'm so excited that our incredible winners will be joining me this evening within the COVID guidelines, of course. And have we got a show for you. We have our most stellar lineup of celebrity presenters ever, jaw-dropping surprises, and most important of all, Brummies whose achievements will make your heart sing. Now, let's get cracking and meet our winners. Pride of Birmingham is all about courage, and this young man has it by the bucket load. Hello, I'm Henry, I'm 15. I live on a farm in Worcestershire. It was, it's April 2nd, 2020, but it's lambing, and, and I went to go and get some sheep in on this old tractor. And while I was doing that, I left the engine running, and I think I must have knocked the gear stick and caught my leg on something, and I went under the wheel a bit like that, and then the hydraulic box was down, and it scraped in my back, crushed my pelvis. So I generally thought, this is it, really. When the workman um, came rushing across the field to say Henry had had a bad accident, you could tell by the way he was that it wasn't good. So he went from that moment of really feeling very free and easy on a beautiful day um, to all of a sudden panic. With Henry trapped under the tractor and bleeding heavily, paramedics faced a race against time. When I arrived, what became clear is that Henry had a possibility of either an abdominal, lower back or pelvic injury, any of which is potentially life-threatening. What I think was remarkable with Henry is that he was calm, um, he could speak to us, we even had a little joke, um, and that made it much easier to assess him properly and to treat him and get him on his way to hospital, all the time knowing that the air ambulance was on its way and would be with us very soon. We found the scene and landed. We then just continue his care. We gave him pain relief um, and a drug to, to help prevent bleeding with internally. And then of course, loaded him onto the helicopter and, and flew him towards the Birmingham Children's Hospital. They had to operate on his hip and then had to put his leg in traction to make sure the leg stayed the same length as his other leg. I was incredibly lucky really, didn't bring a spine, but I also spent a couple about six weeks in a wheelchair. So yeah, not, not an easy time, but um, we were grateful to get out of hospital, to be honest. Back on the farm, Henry began helping out on his electric wheelchair and taking a few steps on crutches. But it wasn't long before his mum discovered he had plans to go further afield to help the medics who had saved his life. I was skipping through Facebook one evening in the new year and I saw a post that Henry had put up saying he was going to do a 54 mile walk for air ambulance. Bearing in mind, um, he was in excruciating pain and couldn't sleep, um, is awaiting a hip replacement um, and is on crutches. Um, I was sort of like, why, why and how is he going to walk 54 miles? After leaving hospital, Henry continued his recovery at home but lockdown meant he missed out on physio treatment and he was in constant pain while he waited for a hip replacement. I just thought of um, what the ambulance did for me. It was really tough, especially when we have the snow and stuff. I wanted to raise 250 pounds-ish and I remember it going over a thousand. I was just like, wow, this is probably going to stay like that. But I was amazed how much we'd raised for them. And uh, now the amount of money we've raised, um, I think it's nearly at 9,000 now. He did six miles on the last day and took three and a half hours to walk. Henry almost was thriving off it. To us. Um, and of course, as mum, um, I was incredibly proud. There was a lot of people to motivate me on stepping outside their houses and just clapping when I got into the village. It was a pretty, pretty good day because at the end, it was a very good feeling. Henry has now raised enough to fund 20 of our critical care missions two in our air ambulances and 18 in our critical care cars and it's amazing to see the difference that he's made and the fact that he's also inspiring others to get involved. It's cases like Henry where we where we get our job satisfaction from. Henry suffered a, a, a serious injury and, and especially for his age and has yet gone on to, to really fight his recovery and really do something positive on the back of it. Henry has had a lot on his plate over the last year so to actually deal with that and go that extra mile or, or many miles, in fact, to raise money for the air ambulance is, is an absolutely tremendous achievement. As a family, we're all incredibly proud of his achievements. 
He's taken on such a huge challenge because um, he's realised how much the air ambulance, in essence, saved his life. Hi. It is an absolute pleasure to meet you. Thank you, and you as well. It's amazing that I got chosen. So. Thank and you, you determined to raise that money for the air ambulance, weren't you? Um, I think my mum put it in a phrase as if I'm, I've given back my recoveries and when they saved me on that day. And I can see that you, you've got your Pride of, of Birmingham Award yes. there on the table. Um, but it was quite a surprise when you received it, wasn't it? Shall, yeah, we, shall yeah. we have a little look at what happened? <laughs> okay. Let's have a look. So I'm going to uh, surprise him because he's about to get a visit from the vet. So I'm just going to put on my disguise and then I can go and find him. I just hope they don't want me to put my hand up any animal's bottoms. Let's do this. Hi, how you doing? Well, I hate to say this, but I've got a confession. Right. Because I'm as believable as this may have been. I'm not actually a vet. Right. I'm an actor. <laughs> my name's Claudia Jesse, and uh, I'm here because I have heard all about your incredible, incredible fundraising efforts for the air ambulance. Oh, all right, thank you. And your amazing determination and bravery <laughs> to complete that walk. Yes. And the reason I know about all of this is because I was a judge for the Pride of Birmingham Awards. Oh, crying. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I'm delighted to be the person tell you that you have won the Young Fundraiser of the Year Award. Thank you so much. <laughs> Yay! You're so Thank welcome. Thank you. Well, I've watched Bridgerton, so I, I, I recognised her for a couple of seconds. It's a bit of a shock, but I'm still, I'm still recovering from it now. I still can't really believe it. So. Now, Henry, Claudia wasn't the only famous face who was completely blown away by your incredible fundraiser. Now, I know you're a bit of a Doctor Who fan, aren't you? I am, yes. OK, so here's a very special message just for you. Hi, Henry. It's Jodie Whittaker, also known as the Doctor. Massive, massive congratulations on your Pride of Birmingham Award. I've heard all about your incredible fundraising and how brave you are. And despite your injuries, you completed an incredible challenge, raising money for the air ambulance who saved your life. You are a truly inspirational young man who is very deserving of this award. Well done, Henry. You should be very proud. I'm sending you loads of love and high fives, my friends, and I hope one day our paths may cross. What do you think oh of that? Oh my God, thank you. Was that good? <laughs> Keep surprising me this year. <laughs> <laughs>